Uh, California, as you know, has just seen the largest wildfire season recorded in the state's modern history. According to Cal Fire, millions of acres of land now have been lost. And it's been devastating. And recovery efforts can take years, but out of the ashes, there can be hope and renewal. In 2017, the Ventura Botanical Gardens, this is north of LA, it was wiped out by the wildfires. But as News Nation's Nancy Liu reports, the devastation actually sparked a faster expansion. The bounce back is big at the Ventura Botanical Gardens. There is plenty of green and colors are beginning to pop, but there are also clear signs of the Thomas fire that swept through here in December of 2017. The garden had debuted just two years earlier and the flames ravaged everything. To know that we were, you know, one step forward and 10 steps back, that was hard. Barbara Brown was serving as the garden's president that year. And I watched it burn all night. It was just, it was terrifying. Uh, and it was painful to see because we'd already put so much time and energy into building the, the, the gardens and then to have it burn, it was just heartbreaking. Doubly so because the fire also destroyed her family's Ventura home. But Brown's botanical family got right back to work. Fire could never destroy the spectacular coastal views from these walkways, with the Channel Islands in sight on a clear day. Nature rebounded here within weeks of the flames clearing out. Things that looked to be killed off by the fire rose through the ashes in vivid color. After the fire, it looked like you would imagine the surface of the moon, you know, just thick layer of ash everywhere. So just a complete gray landscape. As a botanist, Joe Cahill knew that this endangered Chilean wine palm would come back. He also knew hope was beneath that gray landscape. From that, different grasses started to pop up and then shrubs started to send up little shoots. And because the fire burned away all of the overgrown brush, some historic stone terraces were revealed. They may date back to the mission era of the late 1700s. The terraces became a template. The fire cleared out that space, and the kinds of things we're putting into the California native area are really adding a lot more diversity, so we're able to create a habitat for many different types of plants and animals. With every passing day, there is continued growth here, and the number of plantings along the two-mile walkway are now in the tens of thousands. We were approved in 2015, and then in 2017, we had to shut down due to the Thomas fire, and then this year, we had to shut down due to COVID. We really haven't gotten the word out too much about what we have here. Word of mouth is sure to spread, for the sun has yet to set on this community dream of a world-class botanical garden. In Ventura, Nancy Liu, News Nation. The Thomas Fire back in 2017 lasted for 40 days and burned more than 200,000 acres of land.